My name is uh, Edmond Yakani, Executive Director of SEPO, one of civil society delegate to the Nairobi peace talk between the government and opposition parties that are not signatory to the revitalized peace agreement. I would like to take this opportunity to share with the citizens progress that we are able to make under the call which we champion as a civil society campaign on trust and confidence building among our political leaders under the concept of intra-South Sudanese dialogue. Since Friday, Saturday, and today is Sunday, we have been effectively engaged on deliberations on matters of trust and confidence building among our political leaders as we are aware as South Sudanese that the implementation of the revitalized peace agreement was below expectation or the parties were dragging feet in implementing the revitalized peace agreement because of the high deficit in trust and confidence among the political leaders who hold the decision for timely and genuine implementation of the revitalized peace agreement. At least in Nairobi, we have deliberated on these matters where we have trust and confidence issues that have contributed in a very slow political transition of our country from violence to peace. So citizens were able to adopt a document that we call a document that entail matters of trust and confidence building. And likely this document will inform establishment of a protocol for trust and confidence building from Nairobi for genuine political transition of our country from violence to peace. As a civil society leader, as a champion of the call for trust and confidence building among our leaders, I'm very happy and we as civil society are very happy that at least it is first of its kind that around our peace mediation, we are able to really have a time to deliberate on matters of trust and confidence building among our leaders for timely and genuinely political transition from violence to peace. In summary, we are now going to have a protocol for trust and confidence building, which we have not seen such protocol during the revitalization of the agreement on the resolution of the conflict in the Republic of South Sudan in Ethiopia or in Khartoum. So as civil society, as a champion for the call for trust and confidence building among our leaders, we are happy. Our expectation is met. Now we are calling upon our political leaders in the government and in the opposition that are not seeking to revitalize peace agreement to support the call for the establishment of a panel for trust and confidence building among our top leaders. But still this panel also can have engagement of matters of trust and confidence building between leaders and our population. Thank you very much.